On the dish this morning, Valentine Thomas. As far as we know, this is the first chef or cookbook author we've featured who both captures and cooks their own seafood. Now she's out with a new cookbook called Good Catch. We will dive into that soon, but first, a different kind of plunge. So we're in the Florida Keys right now. We're, I think, right of Tavernier. What are we gonna do? We're gonna go spearfishing. Nice. <laughs> spearfishing is the common name for it, but Valentine Thomas actually prefers something else. Blue water hunting. Thomas can hold her breath for six minutes and dives up to 170 feet with no scuba gear just the tool of her trade. And you just load it, you aim, and you try to shoot a fish. Hopefully, one shot and it's enough. <laughs> and, you're my, and you're my protection today. I will be your protection today. You said something to me about if, if, I, if the shark gets too close, what do I do? So the shark gets too close, just act tough. Act like a predator. If the shark comes towards you, try to go towards the shark. He's not gonna like it. And just make your space and he should be fine. Hopefully. Good. Go that way about 50 feet and go ahead and do your drop. Unlike in regular fishing, when you're left with whatever bites, spearing allows you to track and target. You got the lionfish. In this case, an invasive species that kills native populations if left unchecked, lionfish. Thomas warns not to touch them. However, they taste delicious raw. Nice. And cook both of them. Oh, he'll make a great ceviche. Can we eat it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, we will eat So it. what are we going to eat? Lionfish, what else in a ceviche? Snapper. Snapper. Now we're going to go for snapper. With a snapper in hand, it was time for our first treat, prepared dockside. You don't need much to make a ceviche really good. You just want to put lime juice, cilantro, a little bit of red onion, salt, pepper, and you're pretty much good to go. Valentine Thomas grew up in Montreal, an anxious kid prone to panic attacks. As a teenager, one near-death experience scarred her deeply. I was about uh, 14 years old and I went for a swim. I was in the south of France and I got caught in an undertow. The lifeguard come and grab me and then he just brought me back to the, to the helicopter and everything and then I did not swim into the ocean for about 10 years after that. 10 years. 10 years after that. After she finished school, Thomas moved to London, where she became a high-powered businesswoman, until she quit to embrace her new career. Everybody thought I was stupid, which is fair enough. I have a law degree, I have a master in law, I worked in a hedge fund in London, I had a good job, I was making good money. I didn't have a reason really to quit everything. Other than you weren't happy. Other than I was unhappy. I needed something different. Different includes becoming an advocate for sustainable fishing, a free dive instructor, a social media sensation, and a published author with her new cookbook, Good Catch. For her full dish presentation, Thomas unveiled some of those recipes. So delicious. I can tell already. You ready? The first choice was not a Thomas idea, but a Glore one. Pickled fish eyeballs. <laughs> Waste not, want not, right? Uh, amazing. I almost believe you. <laughs> <laughs> we moved on to a few things you'll likely find more eye-catching, including that lionfish Thomas caught earlier served with a reduction of apple cider vinegar, soy sauce, and maple syrup. So the maple syrup is really cool in here. Needed a Quebec touch. It's like a little Quebec, a little <laughs> Canada. That is so good. Right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's amazing. Lionfish is one of my favorite fish to eat raw. That was followed with a smoked fish dip with lemon and salt and vinegar chips, a nod to her London days. Another ceviche, also with snapper, this time using pineapple, Tabasco, and lime. Fish tacos with lemon cream cheese sauce and pickled cucumber. And panzanella salad with snapper, 
feta cheese, capers, cucumber, and tomatoes, with an oregano, grapefruit, and lemon dressing, plus a classic Florida key lime pie. Oddly enough, I never cooked the same thing twice. <laughs> Why? Because I believe that there's so many different flavors, combination in the world, that my life is too short to try them all. So every time I cook, I try to do something different every time. Different can be a challenge, but it can also take you to depths you might have never dreamed possible. It did for Thomas in more ways than one. Being a woman in the fishing industry, I need to work double to work on my credibility. But at the same time, I think it did open more doors to me that it would have for the man. Do you feel like some people still look at you and say like, oh, I don't take it seriously? 100%. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. And how do you feel about that? I tell them, come back with me and let's see who goes deeper. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> so do we. Uh, <laughs> come dive with me, see who goes deeper. We brought you guys fresh you did. off the boat in Montauk. Mm -hmm. This is striped bass. Not eyeballs. Just caught no. Yeah, this no. That was good. You can tell us what with, it was With beforehand. some soy sauce, lime, and because we're feeling a little frisky this morning, a little orange zest. <laughs> so try that. <laughs> Try, <laughs> try that out. It's really good. Um, oh, yummy.